Are you an aspiring artist that is looking for tips how to learn art on your own for free? Well, this video is exactly for you. Visit galleries and art museums as often as you can. They are a great source of inspiration. Also, always carry a sketchbook with you so you can doodle ideas and mark down the paintings that you were most inspired by and then you can look up those artists later and learn from them so you know where your influences come from. Usually every museum has those free days, like the first Thursday of the month, so just check their website and find the free days so you can go there for free. Always carry a sketchbook with you. That way you don't have any excuses not to draw every day. If you have artist friends, get together and draw together. You can either draw each other or you can draw a surprise and sit in a cafe. It's a great time, it's great fun and you practice and you meet your friends at the same time. It's a win-win. Take photographs. I recommend taking photographs yourself. You don't need a fancy camera, just a phone camera will do finely. Not only you can use those photos as reference later, but it's a great way to learn about composition and lighting. I recommend taking a certain topic and take tons of photographs of it of a lot of different compositions and different angles and then go through them and look which ones you like the best. Then analyze why you like those ones the best. What makes a photograph good? It's the same elements that make an art piece good. Also, analyze the works of your idols. Find the artists and the works you're most inspired by. Then, look those artworks really carefully. You can make a study of them, but if you do, don't post that study on social media unless you give the credit to the original artist. But look at them and make a study and point out what are the things that you are most drawn in that drawing or art piece. That's a great way of finding your style, your niche, what you're excited about, what you, where you want to go in your art. Schedule time for learning. I know you heard this before, but everything comes through practice, so you just need to have time to practice. It's a good idea to take your calendar and mark down beforehand when and where is a good time for you to practice. It might be every morning for half an hour, or it can be every Sunday for four hours or whatever suits your fancy. Find your time. If you schedule it in, it's easier to make consistent effort. That way the practice comes a habit. Free and cheap art supplies. You don't always need to buy the most expensive great stuff. I use sometimes the old envelopes and IKEA pencil to draw. If the sketch turns out to be a really great one, I just cut it out and tape it to my sketchbook. YouTube tutorials. YouTube is full of great channels that you can learn from. One that I like to use is Proko, which is full of great anatomy courses and also tips and tricks on how to draw a character. Pinterest tutorial. Pinterest is great if you're looking for a specific thing, like if you type in how to draw hands, you will get thousands of tutorials to choose from. Line of action. Another great site is line of action. I mentioned this already on my what to draw ideas video. I think it's such a good site that I need to remind you guys that it exists and you can practice with it and it's great. On that side, you can practice figure drawing, portraits, animal drawings and hands and fit and you can choose a class mode. So this is great when you only have, for example, half an hour. So you can just put on the class mode and you know you will use the whole half an hour for doodling like a maniac and learning. Library. Library is to have it. You don't need to own books to learn from them. I borrow books from library for inspiration, for ideas, and sometimes also for learning a certain techniques. If there isn't a good library system near you, you can also go to the vintage bookstores and look for the cheapest deals. The fundamental art skills don't age. Mentors. Because everything doesn't always go as smoothly as we hoped, it's great to have mentors, art mentors, that tell you that it's okay, it's not gonna be a rock, science journey. It can be hard at times, but still you can make it. My favorite mentors at the moment are Andy J. Pizza and his creative pep talk podcast and Bobby Chew's channel 
pop it too. Thanks to the internet, we can now have these mentors that don't even need to know we exist, but we can still be mentored by them. Critique. So this is probably the hardest one that you have to come up with ideas when you don't have a school and you don't have a teachers around you that can say when you did good, when you didn't. I think the most important thing is to train your art. It's usually that our taste evolves faster than our skills. Sometimes it's a good idea to put down your drawing for a couple of days and then come back to it. You may spot the errors that you didn't see before. Also, it's a good idea to look your drawing or painting very far away or upside down or to look it through a mirror. That way you can spot errors that you didn't notice before. There's also Facebook groups that are dedicated to drawing and painting you, where you can ask feedback from. And one good tip is also Quora, the site Quora, where you can ask questions. There is some pretty impressive art professionals there that you can get a critique from if you just ask nicely in a question and you're lucky. Thank you for staying here until the end. I hope these tips help you. Please share in the comments if you have some other tips and tricks and resources for us. These are the ones that I use regularly to get better because even though I am in art school, the art school only takes you so far. And when we talk about art, you never finished. I mean, there's always more learning and that's what keeps it interesting. I will put all the links I mentioned to the description below. This is Ellie Mamba Art. Thank you for tuning in. Remember to subscribe and turn on the notifications. See you in two weeks and until then, inspire and be inspired.